A fan tree reached out to me to review one of their earphones. At the time, I did not know what Avantry is as a company, so I looked into it and pleasantly found a rather large portfolio of interesting items. A majority of Avantry's product lineup involves Bluetooth. For example, the Oasis Plus I found rather interesting as a two-way Bluetooth transmitter. Moving on, today we will be looking at their TWS 110 wireless earphone. In concept, this is a tried and tested form of Bluetooth earphones. Let's see how they go. Let's begin with the unboxing. The packaging is rather simple with a slide out cover. Inside we have some paperwork. Under that we have the earphones and the accessories snug in a foam. Accessories are charging cable and some additional ear tips. The earphones are shipped in its charging cradle. As soon as I took out the earphones, it went into pairing mode and pairing is straightforward. Once paired, the LEDs become solid white. Beyond this point, the earphones work like as expected. The earphones have left and right mark and the buds go into the charger the same way as well. There are magnets that pulls the earphones into position and holds it there. And once in the carrier, the earphones start to charge indicated by the red LEDs. Out of single charge, I got on average about two and a half to three hours of use at full volume. The shape and comfort is reasonable as well. I have used it while commuting about an hour each way. Comfort has never been an issue. The earbuds did not feel like it was going to fall. This cleared my initial concern. I did try to use these on bed to binge on Netflix uh, that did not work out as well as I expected. If I'm on my side, the buttons get pressed too easily by the pillow. With regards to the buttons, we can perform the usual tasks such as call control, volume up and down, and next or previous track, etc. I did feel that the button layout needs to be memorized as we cannot see the buttons and what we need to press, we need to know beforehand. The functions are printed clearly enough in the manual. As far as the usage goes, I have made calls using the TWS 110 and that worked well enough. The caller on the line could hear me speak just fine and I could hear them clearly as well. The sound overall is just okay. This is not an audiophile grade item, but for the purpose of commuting and so forth it was convenient. While there is no active noise cancellation, by virtue of these being in-canal earphones, there is noise isolation to a good degree. Overall, there is enough presence that one can enjoy their favorite music or audiobooks or lectures, etc. Some criticism that I must say is that there is a slight lag if you are watching movies, the voice is slightly out of sync and the next minor nitpicking, if I may, this is the day and age of USB Type-C. The TWS 110 charges using micro USB cable. I would have preferred the former. Beyond that, I don't have much else to say. The fit and finish of the product is practically immaculate. It is indeed built very well. Having dealt with many companies over the years, I can say that Aventry has the signs of a company that is here to stay and they are making their products reflect that. Currently these are for sale in Amazon for about $59. I have left a link in the description below for more updated price. At this price point there are a lot of Bluetooth earphones with their own charging case in the market today. It's hard to say how many of them present a better value. But certainly, the TWS 110 comes across to me as a low-risk, safe purchase, considering its build quality and credibility of the company. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I welcome your feedback in the comments below. Also, this particular review unit I'll give away. And the giveaway is being conducted using Gleam. The link is in the description below. There are terms and conditions to this giveaway. I wish you all the best of luck and hope to see you in the next video.
Bye for now.